kind of shit is that? Rant time! What the fudge calls is going on? Can someone explain to me how these practices became commonplace? Can someone explain it? This is not the first time I've read a story like this, but this one, as you can tell, has set me off, man. Ubisoft recently came out with a statement, and I'll quote, No more DLC that gamers have to buy for the full experience. That line alone sent me into flip mode. Not only is it them putting their hands up and saying that they've been making incomplete games and we fools have been sucking them up, but the fact that they've come out and said that it paints a clear image of where the industry, industry is right now. Not long ago, something very similar set me off and this was to do with Crapcom. We all know the story and, and Sony and their joint release of Street Fighter Five. <laughs> we all know that game as a product was utter garbage, absolute trash that shouldn't have seen the light of day. This is where the gamers of today come in, those drones who are blind to the junk they are being fed and will still back it up by spitting nonsense like yeah, I know that the game is lacking features, but the gameplay itself is amazing. You see what I mean? This is what we have to deal with. These are the voices that for the most part control the content we play and the hardware we purchase. <laughs> I, I laugh because even saying something like that, that the, the game might be lacking features, is a joke. And both Crapcom and Phony, Sony Phony, <laughs> should be ridiculed for that title. Which Crapcom were, for the most part. But you very rarely heard anything about Sony, the, the great publisher. And I say that with quotations. You know, the great publisher. Yeah, right. Today, the industry is littered with games that are released with bugs, unfinished gameplay, missing content, day one DLC, day one patches, etc. You name it, it's there. I mean, just the other day, Final Fantasy XV released. A game that has been in development for Chrome knows how long, and Square announced that there will be a day one patch, including things that they didn't have time to add onto the retail disc didn't have time for it we've been waiting for this game for years absolutely years and they're telling me that they weren't able to push this game back by a month or whatever like it would make them bankrupt or something tragic will happen we've waited this long an extra month or two is going to make no difference and do you know what happened you know what people will argue? Games don't work like that. Testing goes up to the last minute and they need to stop to put it into production, etc, etc. Shut up. This is a massive company that has been around for years. They've been going for years and they know exactly how long it takes to get things done. They would have known that the game wouldn't be ready in time. They would have known it. So why not push it back a little bit longer? Have some respect for your product and release it when it's complete and do, do you know why they've done it because they know people will just accept that unfinished product and they will have those people seemingly happily happily fix the game themselves when they get home by downloading their trash day one patch i think uh, a lot of people take the internet internet access in itself for granted not everyone has it well, even if they do, speeds vary greatly, restrictions are still in place for many, and time is also an issue. You know, either way, that game you buy in that store is an unfinished product. 
something that we should not tolerate at all. I'm all for DLC. DLC can be great, just as long as the initial product is that you buy is complete and the DLC itself comes out maybe preferably months down the line. You know, if that product itself, itself isn't necessarily designed as a service. You want to know what a great serviced game is? Take a look at Splatoon on the Wii U. The base game was released and Nintendo provided fresh content every week for six months straight without fail. You want to know what great DLC is? Mario Kart 8, a game that had tons of content to start with, then drops some DLC six months later, then offers you 50% worth of the content for the fraction of a price. And with as much care and attention put into that DLC as the main game received. You want to know what a crap service game is? Street Fighter V, a game that offers you vastly less content and features on launch compared to its previous entries, then tries to offer you a small amount for free, delays it probably for a month, then wants to charge you for characters and additional content that was part of the product before, part of Street Fighter games before standard content, and then they want to charge you for, for this stuff now? You know what crap DLC is? Ubisoft, offering you the end of a game as paid DLC. And that's right, I haven't forgotten you, Prince of Persia. That was a joke. We used to pay for premium content. That was a full game packed with content to the brim that today has been siphoned out and has a money figure placed on it as if the content is considered extra. Like we should see it as a privilege that they are even offering it. Do you know what I say to that? You can kiss my ass. Kiss it! It's all bullshit! All of it!